Okay, so now would be a good uh, time to discuss growth and decay models. So here we have this um, idea that if y is a differential function of t such that y is greater than zero and y prime equals ky for some constant k, then y should equal c to times e to the kt, where c is an initial amount, e is just the number e, and then k is when when greater than zero, k should um, this equation should show uh, growth, and when k is less than zero, it should show decay, and t is uh, just time. We also call k. Oh, drop my marker. We also call k a proportionality constant. So just uh, remember that name. So basically if there's any problem that ever says something like <clears throat> if the rate of change of y, you can see that that's y prime, so here this the rate of change of y is proportional to y, and then it'll normally have some points like if x equals, I don't know, 0, y equals 5, and x equals 3, y equals 8, what is x equals 5? It'll have something, some sort of problem like this. You know to use this formula here. It's it's usually gonna work. Usually, I say I should say always. It's always gonna work. And you can see this proportionality constant corresponds with this proportional because it's what this problem is asking is to use this here formula. Okay, so now let's solve one of those problems like the one in the previous explanation. So the rate of change of y dy over dx is proportional to y. When x equals 0, y equals 6, and when x equals 4, y equals 15. What is the value of y when x equals 8? So here, the, the word that kind of just like sparks something for me is proportional. Oh, whatever. Pretend I underlined that better. Proportional. So proportional means that we should use the um, equation y equals c e r t r being k, obviously. I, I kind of get this equation mixed up with pert, which is pretty much the same thing, it just has different variables. So, um, k is the proportionality constant, so it makes sense that we're going to use this. So, what I like to do is first I like to find out what this the c is, the uh, initial amount. So what I do is I plug in the stuff that I know first, and then I work backwards from that. So when x equals 0, that's going to be t here in this situation. So 6 equals c e k times 0. So e times k, or e to the k times 0, 0 times k, that's always just going to be 0. So 6 equals c e to the 0. e to the 0. Anything to the 0 with power is 1. So 6 equals c. So we figured out that 6 is going to be our initial amount, which makes sense because when x equals 0, y equals 6. I just like to double check that. Now, now that we've figured out that c equals 6, let me just write that down. Now we're going to work backwards to find our k, which is our rate. So what we do is we plug in the stuff again the stuff that we know again. So 15 equals c 6 times e to the k times at time 4. Alright, now we're going to work backwards. 15 divided by 6 equals e times k times 4k. 15 divided by 6. Okay, so now uh, we want to get rid of, or we want to we want to isolate 4k. So what we're going to do is we're going to do ln. It's that kind of idea that you can like switch it up into a different form. Equals 4k. Let me just 
figure out what that is. Where's my calculator? ln of 15 divided by 6, that's going to be 0 0.916291 equals 4k. Divide that by 4 to get k, so 0 0.299 equals k. And it makes sense that this is positive, not negative, because this is growth. You can see it goes from 6 to 15. Now that we have k, we just plug in everything that we know. So y equals 6 times e times to the 0 0.229 times t in this situation is 8. 6 times e to the 0 point times 8. y equals 37.5. So that's our solution. The value is 37.5 when x equals 8.